Bro, I don't give a f what anyone says, bro. This nigga Mike Tyson sold out for twenty million dollars. I don't give a f what anybody says. We already knew this shit was rigged. We already knew this shit was rigged. Jake Paul, bitch ass nigga, he loves to f fight. Senior retired legend to improve his legacy. That is, that is like ultimate rage bait. But not only that, bro. It's like I don't, I don't only want to say that he did his best either. Cause the nigga, bro, the nigga went stupid. No, let's let's not let's not like try to ignore the fact that the nigga Mike Tyson went stupid. For a fifty eight year old man boxing, he went stupid. Let's be honest here, bro. There's never been another 58-year-old man fighting as great as Mike Tyson. Nigga lasted eight rounds. He did amazing. But it's like the responses that he was saying afterwards. He was like, I think I'm going to continue fighting. Nigga, you could barely walk. You could barely throw a punch. What do you mean you want to continue fighting, bro? And it was just these hypocritical ass, these hypocritical ass answers. Like, like. The nigga's like, oh, I was trying to prove it for myself. Mike, what do you mean you were trying to prove it for yourself? Nigga, you're 58. You don't got to prove anything, bro. You don't got to prove anything. You don't have to prove anything. Now that you know, what did you prove, nigga? What did you prove? That's my, that's my freaking point. What the hell did the nigga prove? What did the nigga prove? When you think about it, the nigga fought a 27 year old YouTube content creator philanthropist. Nigga, when I heard that shit, I almost lost my mind. I almost lost my goddamn mind. It will be different if he fights another pro fighter. I don't consider Jake Paul a pro fighter. I don't care what all you little niggas have to say. Jake Paul is not a pro fighter. His only pro fight was when he fought the actual. Tommy, Tommy, whatever the hell, bro, from Great Britain, that actual pro fighter, and he lost to him. The nigga just likes beating people up for fun to keep his legacy, bro. The Listen, the marketing team for that fight, five stars, though. Shout out to them, my nigga, because I've never seen... First of all, we all knew it was a it was a rigged fight, right? Let's start from the beginning. We all knew it was a rigged fight. We all knew Mike Tyson was going to get his ass beat. We all knew it. Let's not sit here and pretend, bro. Let, we all knew Mike Tyson was going to get his ass beat. If you are a regular, self-conscious, good, common, sensual adult, you knew that Mike Tyson was going to get his ass beat. If you would have thought that Mike Tyson was going to get steroids, and he was going to remember back in the day, and he was going to somehow punch and knock the f out of jake paul you're an idiot and your wife should have left you a long time ago there's a lot of things bro it's like you're gonna get in a fight with a guy who's younger than you in his prime you're gonna get in a fight for your record this counts in your record right this could have been an exhibition fight but it, it counts in your record then you're gonna sit here right then you're gonna sit here and you're gonna wear a thong Nigga, you gonna wear a thong around your nigga? What, nigga? Nigga, I seen that shit, bro. When the nigga kissed the reporter, he turned around straight ass. Why am I seeing a 58 year old's ass on a boxing event, on a serious level boxing event? Once I seen that nigga ass, bro, I knew he was gonna get his ass beat. I knew it. I'm like, bro, I just seen a nigga's ass. I just seen one of the baddest man, the baddest man on the planet show his butt cheek. For no reason at all. That nigga's getting destroyed. I don't care what anybody says, bro. That nigga definitely got the Diddy treatment. He definitely got a Diddy treatment, bro. That's not the Mike Tyson I know. And don't tell me age is, is a factor. That nigga don't got no f dementia or nothing, bro. That nigga is a, a, a millionaire with the best doctors and everything, bro. You know that nigga be doing some shit. Hey, Mike, you want to get uh, $20 million in one day? Yeah, nigga, who would it? All right, but you need to get your ass beat by the most disrespectful boxer in all of boxing history, bro. And the reason why I say he's a disrespectful boxer, if Muhammad Ali was still alive, that nigga would literally fight Muhammad Ali with Parkinson's. Jake Paul's a disrespect to the sport. But I feel like boxing also allowed a clown like Jake Paul to disrespect the sport in a boxing thing. Y'all could have, this could have been his own like YouTube idea. This could have been his own YouTube idea or something like that, bro. But then you put it in pro boxing. That's what y'all niggas said. That's what these niggas are saying. They put it in pro boxing. And they allowed all these retired legends to get their ass beat for a paycheck. You can't tell me that nigga, that nigga, 
That nigga ain't sold out for 20 million. <laughs> and shout out to the to the females, bro. Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Shout out to y'all, bro. You y'all some badass motherfuckers, bro. Y'all went stupid. That was the greatest 10 minute round I've seen for females in my entire life, bro. Head leaking and everything, just straight war punches, bro. Oh my god, you didn't know what could have been. But clearly, Katie Taylor got her ass beat in the last two rounds, bro. I don't care what anybody says, bro. Look at the punches landing, look at the percentages. Rigged, it was rigged from the jump, it was terrible. <laughs> Great fight, but definitely rigged. Mike Tyson, you sold your you sold for 20 million dollars, bro. You are just another. You are you are a legend, but you embarrassed yourself in front of a hundred and maybe forty six million people for money, and it's sad to see, bro. It's very disappointing to see. I mean, kudos to him. He didn't have to prove anything to anybody. Everybody knew he was the baddest man on the planet. He was one of the baddest men in the planet. Everybody knew that, and you fought three years ago so everybody kind of knew that you still got it in you but nigga it's been four years later bro it's been four years later and 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 to sit here and just accept a uh, a paycheck from an individual who you would have murdered in gta 30 years bro if mike tyson and jake paul were the same age it was not it wouldn't even be close we all know that it would not be close to nothing bro it just it's just kind of corny that jake paul is getting in his way bro it's just like and we're gonna keep seeing this nigga jake paul like we hate to see that nigga win and that nigga is just a marketing genius he's literally making money beating legends and these legends are taking the thing like who would it right imagine if you're jake paul nigga you wouldn't you wouldn't do what he's doing nigga jake paul's making bank bro by beating niggas asses yes he's learning how to fight little by little and he's getting better little by little so it could look like he's literally destroying these niggas bro but you are literally getting paid millions to beat retired legends you would definitely do it and that's just the unfortunate reality bro it's just like niggas is greed bro greed i would say greed plays a part in this shit bro greed and ego takes a part we we've been watching the downfall of legends when it comes to jake paul yes they don't give a fuck about us and why should they give a fuck about us they just made 20 million 10 million 15 million dollars a day but it's like you would do that it's just the fact like we we as fans we seen y'all niggas you know what i'm saying we seen y'all niggas fight we seen y'all niggas fight bro and y'all will kill us and just to sit here come out of your chair when you was just watching keeping it up with the kardashians with your wife and your 30 dogs in your la mansion for 20 million dollars or for 10 15 million dollars and you know you don't got it in you bro it's kind of tough to see watching the fight was just it wasn't bad like oh man this fight is great it was an embarrassment bro like we literally just saw this nigga just get beat up bro that's what it was we saw this nigga mike tyson get beat up for a check and embarrass yourself bro like this nigga wore a thong and the only reason i keep bringing that up bro is because and i don't want to say this is like a ritual or anything this is not a conspiracy theory bro but like his image literally was being broken down his legendary image was being broken down bro i don't care what anybody's seeing bro like like when the fuck have we seen mike tyson bite his glove because he has a biting problem when 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 at first, we thought it was a fucking mouth guard issue at the beginning of the fight. Then after that, this nigga just kept biting his freaking mouth, bro. It's tough. Like, I, yes, the nigga was taking those punches like no other 58-year-old will. But it's like, you didn't need to do that. And that's, that's just the point. Like, you didn't need to do that, Mike. You didn't need to. But you did it for a buck. And greed is a bitch. Why wouldn't you? You feel me? Why wouldn't you? Greed is a bitch.